this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And whoa, look at that moon go. <laughs> Time sure does fly when you're randomly standing on the top of a giant tower. Right then, welcome back to the the, uh, the episodes. We are continuing on our hunt for shrines. The next shrine, which I'm targeting, is that one all the way over there on the top of that mountain. And I don't know how I'm going to, to get up there how easy it's going to be but that is uh that's what the the goal is so it is now nighttime as you can see it seems like it won't be nighttime for very long considering how fast the the, the moon was blasting across the the sky then but it is nighttime which means things are a little bit more dangerous around here uh there's skeletons that keep popping up out of the the ground and uh, attacking me uh while i try and make my way across the the, the land so i'm gonna have to be very careful of them and uh, also uh, careful of all of the the, the bokoblims or bokoblims or whatever they're, they're called as well. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I knew I was going to keep forgetting. I'm the worst for remembering the, the names of things. So uh, is it becoming day already? I think it is. I think it's like 3 a.m. already. So it uh, looks like uh, it won't be nighttime for, for too much longer anyway. So uh, yeah, that's where I'm trying to, to head to. So I don't know if I can just run across here. Or if I if I need to, to climb up there to kind of the church and keep going that way. But I did spot that there's this, um, there's, is he going to keep chasing me? Okay, it looks like he's staying back there. Yeah, I saw this giant kind of stone skeleton skull just in the, the ground here. So I, I kind of wanted to, to investigate this and have a look inside. I don't know. I think something spotted me. I think something definitely spotted me. Let's try out my new bow. I got a new bow and I haven't really used this very much. Let's see how well it does. And oh, look at that. I got, I aimed for the head and it did loads and loads of damage. And also, uh, I'm keeping them uh, back and uh, not getting too close to, to me. Uh, so this seems to be a really effective way to, to fight, but it won't last for too long. And God, this guy's really tough as well. This guy's taking loads of damage. I was able to, to knock him back. Let's go for another shot with my arrow. I'm wasting all my arrows here. Maybe uh, maybe I bit it off a little bit more than I could true. And oh no, I haven't got anything. Uh, I haven't got any more weapons. <laughs> let's go and grab another weapon. Right, I got uh, a Traveler's Claymore. Let's uh, let's go and try and use... Uh, well, let's just use a, a Boku Club for, for now. Because this guy uh, is pretty damaged. We can finish him off with that. And uh, we can save our swords for something else. That guy's still over there. Trying to, to shoot me and desperately failing. <laughs> I wonder if you can pick up your... Own arrows. I got some arrows in, but I don't know if that's because I picked them up or whether it's my my same ones. Anyway, we got a key swing, uh, a wing of a keys. Uh, it's covered in a very short, sharp fur. It's not much use by itself, but I think you can mix it with critters to make something useful. So crafting is something that I still really uh, don't know very much about yet. Like, I keep getting a lot of items, and they're like, ah, maybe you could mix this with something else. But I haven't quite worked out what it is that I'm supposed to, to mix with uh, with what. So I guess that's going to, to come uh, a little bit later on, uh, either once I kind of find some sort of crafting table type thing, uh, or I just somehow work it out. Anyway, we've got a, a spiked Boku shield, uh, slightly stronger, uh, reinforced with animal bones as well. So that means we've got ourselves a, another shield, uh, so I can switch around from that, and a spiked Boku Boku Club. Definitely worth coming in here to, to get some upgrades to the, the weapons. And there's a, a giant chest at the top here. And oh, those are the, the chests that only open once you've uh, defeated all of the, the enemies. I wonder if I can, if I grab this, if I can destroy the tower? Or, or maybe at least aim it at him. If I just throw this now, is that gonna- Oh dear! That was a bad idea. That did a lot more damage to, to me than it did to, to him. <laughs> I think I kind of assumed that I was going to be able to, to throw it further than I could. But there we go. That is everyone defeated. Uh, so that chest tower has now opened up. Uh, so I will be able to, to see which goodies are inside. First, let's go and see what's over here. We've got some more arrows. And uh, we got ourselves a, another bow uh, as well. So let's go and grab all of these things here. Yeah, I'm going to have to, to spend a little while until I get used to, to <laughs> how how well things can explode and from how far and how how I should, uh, should use things because that literally was the opposite thing of what I hoped uh, to have happen. But what is going to be my reward? Fire arrows. A bundle of five fire arrows. Fire arrows break apart on impact, igniting objects in the immediate area. Incredibly effective against cold things. Well, that is extremely useful because we are about to, to head uh, to, to somewhere cold. We're heading up into the, the, the mountains by the, the looks of things. So uh, having that would be extremely, extremely useful. I really need food though. Like it's good getting all of these 
all of these things. I'm sure they're going to come in useful, but the big thing I need right now is grub. And I know I can get apples and mushrooms, but I really don't know much else uh, that I can use to, to get uh, food from. So let's maybe have a look around here. These don't look like apple trees. These kind of look like birch trees around in this area here. So I don't think there's anything I can get from, uh, from these. Oh, mushrooms. I can see mushrooms. Let's go and grab some of these mushrooms. So I think mushrooms by themselves don't do very much. I think I'm supposed to, to merge them with other things. To, to, to make something tastier. But there we go. One more little mushroom. It might come in handy. You know, at the end of the day, that could be the difference between life or death. But where's where's the shrine? I've kind of been following my, my mini-map. Oh, it's up there. It's all the way up there. Okay, I'm still... Still not up there yet. Let's let's go up through this church and keep heading that way, shall we? There is a camp in that direction over there. And I'm tempted to attack it just to see if they have any food for me. Should we give it a go? Let's give it a go. What's the, the worst that could happen? <laughs> so let's go and uh, grab a... Um, let's use the, the, the spiked Boku Club, seeing as this one uh, seems to, to be stronger. And I got some arrows as well. So let's go and uh, try and sneak up and uh, try and attack them. And oh, look! I think there's some bees. I think there's bees or wasps there. Let's try and shoot that. I wonder if we can if we can knock it out the, the tree. I don't seem to be able to. Am I am I missing it? Or... Oh, it's just, it's just not happening. How, surely I can make that drop down and take them out. Maybe if I use a fire arrow, possibly. I've kind of just lured them over to it, but I wasn't able to, to make it drop down. Let's just go and attack them normally. I tried to, to be fancy and show off, but <laughs> it didn't work too well for me. There we go. That was a nice shot on that one. And oh, I wasn't able to, to take it up, though. They've now gone and grabbed their clubs. That's cool. They don't have their, their clubs on them already. They have to, to go and grab them before they go and attack me. And oh, that one's going to shoot me with a bow. And oh no, my traveler bow broke. I think I might have a, another one, but that's still that's still not great. Let's see what my, my rewards are going to, to be. So can I shoot this down? Oh, I can. I was too far away. Probably shouldn't have done it when I was next to it, but maybe I could get some honey or something from it. That would be cool. No, no, no. They're attacking me. They're attacking me. They are attacking me. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, I need to eat. I need, I need to eat my mushrooms. <laughs> it's really all I, I have. They're not very good, but I need to, to eat something. <laughs> I'm doing so badly here. Like, I tried to, to attack the, um, the them by using the, the bees, but I failed to do that, and now the bees and the Z are attacking me. Oh, they don't like the fire, though. That's what I found out. Let's see what they drop down, then. Can I get some some honey, maybe from their, their beehive? Let's go and pick it up. A coarse bee honey. Uh, honey straight from the hive uh, is chock full of nutrients. Cook this uh, into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients. Okay, so it looks like I can I can eat it by itself, but I could also cook it uh, into to something even better. So if I sit here, is this how I cook? Or do I just throw things onto the, the fire? I really don't know how cooking uh, particularly works. Uh, so if I select this, hold... So I can hold it... And then if I just drop it here... Okay, I've just set it on fire. <laughs> I don't think that particularly helped me. How do I mix it with other things? I'll get to the end of this at some point. But at least I was able to, to get some honey. Uh, so I can eat this if, if I need to. Oh, no, that's amber. So, yeah, I can use that to, to get my health up. So I lost some health. But I did uh, I did gain some uh, some health as well. And can I... Can I break these open with anything? Do I have anything um, uh, strong enough to break these open? I'm not sure if I do. So let's go and leave them for for now. And uh, let's go and carry on making our way up here. And uh, see if we can uh, eventually go and uh, get to the, the shrine. I have noticed when there's a lots of grass like this, the game does slow down a little bit. Like, if you're watching the, the video and thinking that the, the video looks a little bit laggy right now, it's not the, the video, it's actually the, the game itself. And I had heard some reports of this, that the, the, the frame rate, basically how many frames per second the, the game is showing, can kind of slow down a little bit, which makes the game look a little bit jerky. Generally, it seems to, to be good, but there are quite a few points where that does happen. So uh, if it does happen, uh, don't worry, it's not the, the video or what you're watching it on. Uh, it does just seem to be coming from the, the game itself. So right then, can I, can I jump across this boat? broken bridge it looks like i might be able to i'm not entirely sure how else i would get up there so let's be very careful and big jump because that's a big drop at all only just only just able to, to to make it up there and let's go to that church and let's just head through there see if there's anything interesting we can find and to try and make our, our way to the the shrine from there as i've kind of mentioned before i'm not like i don't care about finishing this game like i'm not just playing through it just to, to see all of the, the main missions and to, to, like, complete it as fast as I can. Like, this is the part that I was looking forward to. This is what I enjoy most in Zelda, is just wandering and exploring and just experiencing. And, oh, it's the Temple of Time. 
I know the the, the Temple of Time from uh, from Ocarina of Time. This was a, a place in there, and I think some other Zelda games as well. So it looks like um. It looks like it's seen better days. It's not the the, the Temple of Time as I remember it. It seems to be a, a little bit destroyed. And can I like, ah look, I can jump and climb up really quickly like that. That's pretty awesome. I wonder if there is going to be any time travel in this game. I wonder if there is going to be any cases where I could go back in time a hundred years and see what this place used to be like. There's a lot of time travel in different Zelda games, so I wonder if there is going to be any in this game, because that would be cool. Wouldn't it be cool to, to kind of go back in time and see what this place was like before it all got destroyed and just to see this place looking like amazing and glamorous and not... <laughs> with giant holes in the, the wall and grass growing everywhere. <laughs> anyway, let's go and destroy these pots to see if there's any goodies. I've also found a, an old chest over here. Another traveler's blow, uh, bow. Uh, very nice to, to have that. And oh, my inventory's full though. Right, let's go and uh, let's go and drop some of my rubbish. The problem is I, I pick up everything. I grab every single little thing I find, and then I kind of completely run out of room. So let's go and uh, get rid of some of these then, shall we? Uh, just go and drop them down there. Then let's go and grab grab the the, the traveler's bow because uh, this is much better. Maybe I need to to start getting a little bit more picky. I reckon at some point I might get a a bigger inventory, uh, make it so I can carry around more items. That's normally quite a big thing in Zelda games. Normally it's your um your purse or you have like. Uh, a bomb bag, and that will say how many bombs you can have, and then your quiver uh, for your arrows uh, as well. And oh, I can pray. I can pray at the the Temple of Time. Is this going to to do anything? It made some sun came down. It went all sparkly. Who who has conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs? I can offer you great power, but you do not yet have four spirit orbs. Seek the shrines scattered across Hyrule and face more challenges. Once you have claimed four spirit orbs, return to me. Everyone wants the spirit orbs. That's all anyone cares about around here, isn't it? Getting four spirit orbs. <laughs> well, the old man wants me to give the spirit orbs to, to him. So what I think I might do is before I take the, the spirit orbs back to, to him, I might take them to, to there and uh, see what I'm able to, to get, uh, you know, from, from the, the shrine before I give it to, to him. Maybe he's not going to steal my spirit orbs. Maybe, maybe he's just asking for them so I go off on this adventure to try and get them. Maybe he doesn't actually really want them very much. I don't think that would be too crazy to, to believe. There's another camp down there. I think I'm going to skip that one. I think I'm going to, to sneak past that one and keep uh, making my way up here uh, to the, the shrine. I think I kind of need to, to loop around to the left. And oh, is this food? I think I found food. What is this? A spicy pepper. Uh, this pepper is exploding with spice. Uh, cook it to create a dish that will raise your body's temperature and help you withstand the cold. Ah, right then. So uh, let's go and keep grabbing all of these. It looks like there's loads of them. So this is the cold. I think I'm starting to... Oh, look, oh, look, look, look. You can see the temperature gauge. The temperature is getting dangerously low. Find warmth or you'll take damage. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner, it, there is a temperature gauge. And it went right the way down. So let's go and try and cook those peppers. So it looks like we are going to be going and attacking this camp after all. Let's maybe try and use one of these bombs. I haven't really played around with these very much. Let's just try and throw it right in the, the middle of them. Like that and blow it up. There we go. That did loads of damage against them. I sent them like bouncing down the hill then. That was awesome. Right, let's uh, let's uh, let's go try and use another bomb then. If I just drop this one here, if this guy chases me, I can then maybe try and blow him up. I think I maybe should have used a square bomb though. The, <laughs> the bomb's chasing me down the hill. There we go. The bomb has finally stayed still. So if he comes and chases me now, I can go boom and then <laughs> send him absolutely flying. That was amazing. Right, let's try and finish him off now. Uh, I damaged my uh, my spiked thingy, uh, my club, uh, but I was able to defeat him. The others are still lurking around here somewhere, though. Though I'm enjoying using these bombs, to be fair. Let's just try and use these as much as we uh, as much as we can. And oh, I dropped it! I dropped it. Let's go and grab it again. Let's go and uh, and throw it down there. And then look at that! Those bombs are really, really effective. And I have infinite. I'm never going to run out of them. I can kind of just keep respawning them as much as I want, which is extremely handy. So let's go and uh, grab even more of these spikes. 
spicy peppers. And let's just cook all of these because I don't know how long I'm going to be in the, um, the the cold area. So it'd be good to have them as long as I can. And oh, I found a pot lid. Uh, the lid of a large soup pot. Uh, it smells vaguely uh, of poultry broth. Yum. Uh, I can take uh, quite a beating before breaking. Okay, looks like this is a, a better shield. I've got a, a roasted uh, bird drumstick as well. And I was definitely after food. So that's going to be handy. And oh, I can't pick up the torch. I'd love to grab that torch though. So let's go and uh, drop down uh, some of these melee weapons. So let's start getting rid of some of these... Um these these uh these clubs then because i don't i don't really need too many of these clubs and these arms these aren't that great either so let's just go and drop all of them and then we can go and go oh, pick it straight back up again but there we go i was able to to get the the torch let's go and grab some of these mushrooms and then uh, any other goodies we can kind of find lined around here and then we can grab this food we get some steak getting loads of food now that's the the, the food problem sorted and let's try and work out how we how we cook then so i want to to cook these peppers the 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 spiced peppers um this pepper is spicy yeah cook to create dishes so uh if i just hold it can i just stand here is that cooking it i think i might need to to drop them on so i've dropped them i don't want to i don't want to burn them though is that is that them cooked i think i might have just cooked them all now this pepper is floating with spice i uh, cook it to create dishes that will raise oh i don't know if i did cook it it's still it's still telling me to to cook it maybe i picked it up too soon uh let's go and uh uh, hold it and then let's go and uh, once again drop it down right on top of the the, the fire there and let's uh let's let it cook for a little bit longer let's see if anything changes if it calls it anything different i don't think it's uh, i don't think it's quite cooking now is this how you cook is it do, do you literally just throw things on the the fire i have no idea like i cooked the apples when they were in a tree by putting a um a torch under them but i'm not sure if i'm not sure if i have cooked these or not should we just give it a go? Should we just go up there and eat and see if we have? They do kind of look like they're, they're shining a little bit, but I don't know if that's just because it wanted me to, to pick them up. Let's just go and eat them, and let's just see if I'm going to be able to, to survive the, the heat at all, uh, and if I'm going to be able to, to do any better than I was before. So uh, let's go and uh, eat this. Is that going to put my temperature up? Nope. My temperature is still plummeting all the way down. Oh, but look at this. There's some hidden sneaky peppers around the, the back here. Let's just go and grab these uh, just to, to get even more of these peppers because I might uh, end up needing a, a whole bunch of them. And then let's go back here and let's go and <laughs> let's go see if I can work out. Sorry if you know how to cook and I'm frustrating you by how badly I'm doing this. Oh, do I use this maybe? Maybe I need to, to use this thing. Let's try and light that using the, the torch. And maybe I maybe I need to, to cook there and I can't cook on the fire. That might make uh, quite a lot more sense. Let's go and uh, grab this and uh, bring it out. And can I use this to, to set fire to this pot? Or is it or is it kind of lit? Anyway, there we go. I've now set fire to, to that pot there. I think I might be onto something here. I think this might be what I was uh, supposed to have done from the, the beginning. So now I hold these... And there we go. Now I cook them. I was thinking, surely I don't just fire, like throw them on the the fire. This makes a lot more sense. <laughs> and there we go. I got some uh, some salted peppers. Uh, it gives me two and a half minutes uh, to to be able to to resist the the um, the, the the flame. So that's really good. What else can I cook then? Is there anything else here that I could cook? I got some acorns. I could maybe let's let's throw this in. Let's go and throw this into the the pot, and uh, let's go and cook that. And uh, is there anything else I can throw in? Maybe I need to mix things together before I throw them in. But let's see what I end up with this. Energizing honey candy. Instantly refills some of your stanima wheel. Uh, a natural sweet bringing with nutrients uh, made by stewing fresh honey. Okay, that was worth doing. Let's just keep throwing things in then. Let's go and uh, and uh, throw in some of these uh, these nuts and to see if I end up with something else in there. I love this. I love the little song and it bouncing around and stuff. It's so satisfying. And I was able to, to get uh sooted nuts uh these sooty tree uh, seeds are perfect snack uh, for a busy ventures on the go i think it just gives me a little bit more hunger so there we go <laughs> the zelda noob worked out how to cook some peppers <laughs> after many minutes of try he was finally able to, to work out something that should have been very simple for for starters so right then let's go and um grab some of these uh these peppers then uh and uh let's go and uh, eat one of these and then this should uh, give me some uh, some resistance and oh no Okay, I'm still I'm still cold, but am I okay? Okay, I'm cold, but um I'm surviving. I'm I'm lasting. I'm resisting the cold. If I went in the water though, is that? Oh no no, I'm I'm getting damaged. I think. Am I too cold? 
I think I just got damaged there, I believe. The, I was able to, to get some, some wood. Uh, you can use this to make a campfire. Ah, I can just make campfires wherever I want now by the, the looks of things. Where is the... Oh, no, I, I am getting damaged here. Let, let, let's go and eat another spiced pepper. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> let's go and eat another one of these. Uh, could create dishes that will raise your body temperature and help you withstand the, the cold. Maybe do I need to eat a few of them? Uh, I don't think it's doing... I don't think it's doing too much. I don't think I can resist the, the cold properly with it. Yeah, look, it's still hurting me. Maybe I need to, to get some better clothes as well. That's what it looks like. So I think it helped me a little bit, but still not quite enough. I think I need to, to maybe get some warmer clothes to be able to withstand it better. That was still worth doing, though. It's still worth cooking them and uh, working out how to, to cook all of the, the other things because I have plenty uh, of food in my pockets uh, to, to hopefully keep me going. So uh, let's keep trying to work my way to the shrine then. <laughs> I think it's just around the the other side here. I might be able just to, to climb up the, the outside of this mountain here to, to get there that way. Or maybe I need to, to wait uh, until I can get some, some better clothing to, to make my way up because that, that climb looks like a very difficult climb and I don't quite know how capable I would be uh, of making it. There also seems to be like a bit of a ravine before I can even get to, to there. But look, there are a few handholds on the way up. So maybe uh, I do need to, to do some rock climbing. It looks like that might be the, the next option uh, for, for me to, to do things. But first, I need to, to make my way to this bandit camp here. I need to be careful because there's a lookout uh, watching me right here, and I need to, I need to try and sneak past him. Let's see if I can get a nice long range hit on him. And oh, I can't, I can't shoot from, uh, from that far. I was able to, to kind of confuse him a little bit and make him look in the, the other direction. Let's see if I can, I can take out this guy without alerting any of the, the others. I want to try and aim for the, the head, because if I do, I might be able to, to take him out in, a, in one hit. So let's go, can I get him? There we go. He wasn't able to alert any of the others. That means I get a good chance to, to sneak in and uh, try and take out these guys without them spotting me at all. I think one might have just spotted me there. Let's go and throw the, the bomb in and uh, do the damage like that. And there we go. I love using those bombs. They are absolutely amazing. I finished that guy off with the, the bow, and they've all got their clubs now. So it looks like we have a proper fight on our hand, but I reckon I might be able to, to take them. So I have a shield now. I, I didn't have a, a shield before, so I can use that to, to try and protect me. It doesn't. It, it's not going to last very long, though. That's the, the problem. And I've realized I am using a, a, a torch to attack them there. So let's go and uh, <laughs> uh, switch that round to the... Uh, let's just use the, the, the spike bow for, for now. And this should do a little bit better than using a, a torch. And let's go and try and finish off those guys. No problems. And is that all of them? Is that going to unlock the chest? Yes, it is. It's going to, to unlock this, uh, this chest up here. Uh, so I'm going to be able to to grab whatever I can from uh, from here. And oh no, I broke my club. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> I need to work out how to, to break open those giant uh, those giant boxes. I don't know if I got anything strong enough to, to do that. And oh, I've got a throwing spear. A specialized spear weighted to excel as a throwing weapon. It's perfectly balanced to be thrown further than your average spear. Uh, able to pierce targets from a great distance. That's very handy to, to know. I can go and grab some uh, some more steak uh, from here uh, as well. And is this another good bow? Oh, it's only a Boko bow, but I might as well go and grab that anyway. And there's a horn down here, and then it looks like... It looks like there's something behind here as well. Uh, I guess I could probably use a um, uh, a bomb to, to break this open. Let's uh, let's just use a, a square bomb if we can. Actually, I, I might be okay to, to use this one. Uh, let's just go and uh, let's just go and detonate that one first. Is it is it, is, is it gonna get detonated? I don't think it, oh, it looks like I can can I do more than one one at a time, maybe? I think I can. I don't I don't think I'm gonna blow that one up until I switch to, to round ones, but there we go. I was able to, to find a hidden chest down here, and inside there was more bomb arrows. Uh I haven't really used them yet. And a, a stemella shroom. A green mushroom that grows near trees in the forest. Uh, it's short, it's a uh, shock. A uh, chock full of natural energy. Uh, cook it to release uh, stanima uh, uh, restoration properties. So I guess if I cook this, then I can eat it to increase my stanima. That might actually be really handy uh, when I come to, to try to, to climb up that mountain. Because I'm going to need a, a, a lot of, uh, of stanima uh, to, to be able to, to make my way up the, the, the top there. And there we go. I have found my way to... <laughs> to break open all of these uh, these boxes uh, just by, uh, yeah, putting a bomb next to them and then just completely blowing them up uh, seems to, to work really well. And I kind of put that in the, the wrong place. Let's move it here. Drop it down and go and uh, and blow this up. 
uh, see what goodies we can get inside. It's definitely worth coming down to all of these different camps. It's definitely worth just going down to, to see all of these different things and to, to get all of this food. Because otherwise I might not have uh, enough things to, to be able to survive. I also got a, a rush room. A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, but it prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. Ah, uh, my movement speed. So I can use that to, to get around faster by the, the looks of things. That is something else uh, that is definitely uh, going to come in very handy in the, the future. So let's go and have a look at this um this cliff then. Because it definitely looks like that is where I need to, to climb up. But there doesn't seem to be a an obvious easy way to be able to, to get to it. It looks like there was a giant gap. I want to see if there is one path that I can use to, to get over there. Or if I'm going to, to need to find another way there. Oh look! Look who it is! Look who it is! <laughs> it's the old man just hanging out here. Oh is this his house? There's a little house down here as well. Hello old man, you seem to be everywhere. <laughs> oh fancy that, we meet again. What are you doing? I'm heading home for the day. How about you? All done here. Overworking yourself is no good. Go ahead and take a rest in my bed if you need to. Unlike a fireside nap, sleeping in a proper bed should really rejuvenate you. Ah, so I reckon that's going to, to put all of my, my health up. And it looks like there's some uh, some goodies that I, uh, I'm i sure he won't mind me uh, borrowing. And uh, a cooking pot uh, so I can go and do some some cooking uh, as well. So yeah, I'm going to rest there for the, the night and uh, heal myself up and do a little bit of cooking. Uh, but before I do that and before I end the, the episode, let's go and have a look over here. Because this is where the shrine is. The shrine is right up above of where I am now. But I need to make my way across there. And aha! There are some rather big trees here. Do you reckon I can cut down one of these trees? And then that way it's going to make a bridge? Timber! It is! I used that to, to make a bridge to, to get across. And then what's this? A uh, co-rock leaf. A single swing of this giant sturdy leaf can create a giant gust of wind strong enough to blow away light objects. These will often sometimes fall off trees when they are chopped down. So there we go. That's going to be my way across. And then I'm going to need to climb up that entire cliff in order to make my way to the next shrine, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> oh dear, but that is the end of this episode here. The next episode, I'm going to be doing everything I just mentioned. So yeah, make sure you come back to, to check that out. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!